welcome at the project to watch this is RP. So today or tonight, okay, I know we start just later in the evening now. Alright, I'm going to talk about two things. The first one will be some weapons that were found. I'm also going to be touching on the Garwood case. Alright, that's Andrea Garwood, that's the lady who was killed in church. Right. Her case is now complete and well, let's just say things took a turn where at this point I'm not even surprised. Before we go into that, I just want to wish Tammy from the Patreon squad happy birthday. Hopefully she's still awake. All right, Tammy, big up yourself. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you had a great day. Don't know. Thanks for the support. All right. Tell us say, and I forget it and say I'm drop it here. So Tammy, big up yourself, more life, health is well seen. Look out for some videos exclusively drop in. Alright, pan page and fake and enjoy them soon. So Tommy, big up yourself. Make a move into the video. Now, first let me adjust the elephant in the room. So you might have noticed that a video get put out right, for about 20 seconds, then it got deleted. That's because right, when the story met about the first break, right, it was reported say a OTF weapon them. Right. That is what the media put out. Right. Or that had, I think even on the official right, police um, page it said OTF. But yeah, then we get the real intel that the weapons actually belong to the snake. And if you notice the weapons were found in Green Park, it would be real strange OTF weapons and I get find this one. Right, so I was scratching my head when I see the news, but I said, well, you know, JC put it out, or the mainstream media put it out, so right, I guess, you know, who knows. Right, but then, let me say, we get the real intel, so then I made a second video, but then I made a mistake and still upload the first video. So I take it back down, right, and then add in this part of the second video. So, what you're hearing now is the actual video. So, the snake. A female weapon. They belong to a female girl. Matter about shop snake. Now, you might think to yourself, well, on, the snake not supposed to be behind bars and the snake not supposed to. That doesn't mean nothing. Right? You should know that by now. Right? The confusion, in my opinion, comes from the fact that one of the people in them catch actually, right? deals in the selling of weapons to a theme thing and him sell gun to basically whoever willing to buy right him even sell weapons to otf and i think that is where right, the confusion come around we say uh, otf weapons them right? but i wanted to suspect them right sell gun right to the various gangs them you know otf and all them people eh, about a sharp snake weapon them but the more key individual as me say who you know, sell weapons across the various young them and that is why right, it looked like there was some confusion if you say I ought to gun them right? but now we know say they belong to the snake remember the last time they will have some weapons with the snake they more than they fancy right? some bossy rifle well or some more bossy rifle right? you see the kind of firepower with the snake right? have at his disposal and they don't know already right? he not have a problem with money and can buy all the guns they want to buy. So, take a good look at the weapons them where, you know, the music held by. You know, well, it's just art, you know. Sorry, she said the art. And this is what the art held by. So, right, I just snake them weapon. This might turn into something, but again, we can't really get the hopes up yet because then we're already ready. Right, you see, man, get all on pan, but there must some key people, right, let me say. One of the individuals them actually sell weapons. The other two are some kerosenes. Right? Two kerosenes and a male. Right? Very interesting times. And so, as I said in the early video, Racy Drop, that was saying it was OTF. Right? I was questioning, you know, why would OTF weapons them get finding a green pond? That really made no sense. But, as I said, now we know what I'll go on. Every time they find some stash of weapons like this, I always think to myself, imagine how much more they map. 
imagine what is out there in the hands of 57s. Of course, we know the whole thing in the hands of law-abiding citizens is them phone, and so them can call the police, but uh, there you go. Right. Clearly, the snake still, right, well arms up. Right. Clearly, they can make things happen. But it seems that the security forces have some serious intel and they're acting on it, so right. well, we'll see what come out of this. Right. But it's not OTF, right? Or the snake, your favorite producer. I want to have the whole person to be a favorite artist to give him a payment for the murders of them. I want to have them end up you know, buying some of them you know, guns. Uh, who knows? Right? My mom does a little bad man, YouTuber. So, right? I'm going to tell you, no, right? type of weapons, I'm exactly going to break it down for now, like a year. Right? Just how serious these weapons really are. 1 AM 15 multi caliber rifle. Right? One Omni Hybrid Multi Caliber AR-15 Rifle One KMA-15 Multi Caliber Rifle Modified Notice all three rifles are multi caliber You know what I mean right? Uh, don't just fire one type of shot One Browning Pistol One Glock 19 Pistol One Hellcat Pistol 192 5.56 rounds right 556 five, I wouldn't fire out of the air them right the same rounds them way JCF and JDF fire right 192 273 9mm rounds of ammunition 273 and you can go up and loop and see the full breakdown right plus other firearm Paraphernalia, right, including working parts, magazines, old stars, all that. Like the money that start them on JCF or something. Right, working parts, that are spare parts. Right, right so you know, say, them, them, them realize, alright, they will make them change this, I change that. So then just buy them spear. Right, all holsters. Get this and start buying holsters now. Right, interesting. One time, man, those thought they ain't gone, they ain't that's not enough. Plus, they find cash, Jamaican, and US currency, several devices. Very interesting. Now, let me touch on right, the Garwood case because now we are USA, right? It's complete. So, there was three people involved, three people who were really um, the main focus of the trial. The first one, Right, was the driver. Right, him plead guilty. The next one was the shooter. Right, he also pled guilty. The third one, right, and the main one, who I was looking out to see, right, what happened to him was the stepson. Right, he was the one, right, who the prosecution was trying to get a conviction on for paying for the hit. Remember, this lady, right, was his stepmother. Right, but his father had died. Right, so the stepmother you get certain things in like already. Right, next thing you hear she dead. Right, the man go shoot her in a church. Now the shooter being guilty. When the story come out, and the papers as usual, you know, sometimes sometimes you have to sacrifice a one and two brain cells and read the comment section. I don't like doing it, but I have to sacrifice a one and two brain cells to see where the people might say when time certain stories drop on the mainstream page. People that say, oh, you know, sir, how the steps on PFE. Wait, oh, you know this. We don't know. We don't know. You're right. You don't know anything. Or at least not anything worth knowing. Right? This case is pretty straightforward. Right? But no witness, no case. The driver pled guilty. Right now, are you listening now? Let me tell you how this case go. The driver pled guilty. And he turned Crown Witness and agreed to provide evidence against both co-accused. Right. But because I dropped him drop, right, the shooter, right, he had more information on the shooter right, than he did on the person who PFE'd him. No say other man the PFE'd, but 
he had him drop the driver so he could have gone through every single detail about that. Right? So he gave information on both right, the driver and right, the person who paid for it. Again, this is public knowledge, it came out in court, it's in the news article. The prosecution then tried to get the shooter, right, into them called Prince. Right? They tried to get him right, for then turn crown witness on the stepson. That's what that means, eh? they may get the driver, the shooter, and the person who paid for the hit. Well, it turns out that the shooter, right, Dwight Bingham, aka Prince, did not take the stand. He did not become a crown witness, and it seemed like they left it really late, right, which is surprising to me because in the article here, so, right, it say, right, the prosecution say, and I quote, I made a request to Bingham's counsel, and counsel has indicated that he will get back to me this Wednesday afternoon. So it sounds like a some late thing, and then the prosecution go on to mention. It is with that in mind, to borrow a phrase from you, my lord, come tomorrow it will be eggs or young ones. Basically, right, let me say, the driver did not agree, right, to testify against the youth, so in get for no, when you raise things like this and people don't take the stand, usually it's because you then get buy out with money or some kind of intimidation going on. Man, you know, say, if you testify, then we're going to shoot your family and shoot all them things and the shooter decides say, to leave it alone. Plus, he plead guilty and he's probably thinking to himself, well, I don't get much time anyway. But the fact that never work with the prosecution, and uh, show me, say, some spookiness going on. When the person who pay for the hit gateway, right, that means say, right, the money spender right, is still in the streets and he can always pay for another hit. Next thing you have to consider. Right, when things are this happen and people see their relative get killed and the person who right behind it don't get convicted, what then happens is enough people then decide, alright, the official justice system feel me, so now I'm gonna take my justice in a moment on. And the next thing I hear is somebody put a hit on that person. And then the cycle continues. So this is why when you see these trials happen, right, that people both case, understand say, them thing they help increase murders because man take up justice in a them own hand. Because people now start plot retaliation and it goes on and on and on. Two man them plead guilty probably going to get low sentence and the person there and right, who found the whole thing was the case and the land and whatever who should send that war over, get it. So in the end, this work out for the people who carry the hit, right, Pan, Andrea, because they want to get with her because of, you know, the father did lose theme life and, you know, dead life and people start squabbling over forget what. So now she dead, man was the case, then get to them more. So, Ivy. Anyway, Patreon Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.